welcome back to my channel. My name is Stephanie Jacqueline and if you are new, welcome. <laughs> products that I bought at Sephora. I recently went into the store and I was looking around and I wanted to, I went specifically for some products and I ended up buying other products that I'm so excited to try out. Um, so let's get started. First I want to share that a lot of these products are from the brand uh, from Selena Gomez's Rare Beauty makeup line and I'm so excited to try out. Ever since I knew that Selena Gomez was coming out with her own uh, makeup line, I was so excited because I really like her her taste. I like the way she usually goes for very neutral makeup and I find myself usually going towards neutral makeup as well. So I was so excited when I found out. I did want to wait a little bit um, to buy products because first of all, um, I wanted to see reviews. I wanted to see what people thought about them. And after reading and seeing, I decided which are the ones that I thought I was going to use the most. So let's start with the very first one. So I'm going to go ahead and start with this one right here. It's the Stay Vulnerable Glossy Lip Balm, and it's in the color Newly Natural. So if I'm not mistaken, this is the one. She has a video where she talks about um, the tones, her favorite, uh, her favorites, and most of the ones I chose are the ones that say Selena's favorites. So this is the Stay Vulnerable Glossy Lip Balm in the color Nearly Neutral. It's a luxurious hydrating lip gloss that delivers high shine color with cushiony feel of a balm. So this is it. I like that it's flat right here. I saw a girl say that it was so convenient because usually when you place a lip balm on a on a table, it starts rolling and this one will stay flat. I have I would have never thought of that. Like it, to me, my lip glosses aren't rolling around everywhere. But that's just me. What really um, caught my attention about this lip balm is that in her video, she said that it has a little hole in the middle. That way, when you're putting on lip balm, you have more product. So that was very interesting. Oh, it's a gorgeous color. Should I do a swatch? Oh my gosh, I've never done this before. <laughs> um, oh wow, it's so pretty. It's like beautiful for like a retouch. It's such a beautiful natural color. I love it, love it. So um, like I said, this is the uh, Nearly Neutral. I mean, the name gives it up, right? Nearly Neutral, I'm so excited to try it out. Okay, so next we're going to go ahead and go into the next product, which is also from the Rare Beauty line, and it is the With Gratitude Dewy Lip Balm in the color Thankful. Now, this was also one of her favorites. Let's go ahead and open it. Her packaging is just so nice. I love the color, the way she packaged everything is so nice. This one also has the squared back. Let's go ahead and see what this looks like. Oh, that's so pretty. Oh my gosh, I think these two together would make a perfect combo. So this is the color. I'm so scared, I don't wanna ruin it. It looks like, oh my gosh. The texture is so smooth. It just glides on so nice. This is gonna, this is nice. The, the texture is very, very nice. And that is the color. You see, it's close to the, the other one. They're, they're very similar. Oh my gosh, this is so nice. I'm so excited to, to try it out. And I think it's a hydrating, uh, dewy, it's a dewy lip balm. So it should go on very nicely. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited to try this one out. It's so nice. This packaging is gorgeous. So that is this. Next, I have the Positive Light Liquid. Positive Light Liquid Luminizer, and I got this one in the color Mesmerize. Now this one wasn't Selena's favorite. I think it was a different color, the one that she had chosen as her favorite, but it was sold out at my Sephora, and I told the lady which one she thought would give me like a real natural glow to my skin tone, and she told me that this color, and this is a Mesmerize color, and I was so excited to try this one out as well, because I've never tried a liquid highlighter before, so I was so excited to try this one out. And this packaging, again, once again, gorgeous packaging. I love this little this little detail here in the top. Um, like I said, this color is memorized and it's a silky second skin liquid highlighter that creates a lasting lit from within glow. Let's go ahead and see. I saw that this was like one of the best sellers. So let's see what that looks like. That's, I'm scared, I'm scared. I don't know how I'm gonna use this product, but I need to practice because this looks gorgeous. 
so excited to see how it's going to illuminate my skin Last is the stay vulnerable melting blush and this is a nearly mauve this one also is not the color that she that she chose as her favorite but the one that she chose as her favorite wasn't um wasn't in stock either so i went ahead and chose this one which was the closest to it like i said it's called nearly mauve and it says this breakthrough formula delivers a weightless wash of soft focus color that melts upon contracts for a second skin finish so i was really excited oh my gosh isn't this just so cute it's so nice i'm so excited to try this out because i've never used this type of blush before and the way that i would leave any uh, tutorials on how to apply it and the way it was it was the the finish that it was giving the uh, girls that were trying it on was a very natural finish blush and i really liked it so i really want to try it out isn't the one that selena chose as her favorite i really wanted to try that one out but it was sold out so i went with the closest one which was this one and um they had a sample and there was little to no difference the packaging is gorgeous it looks very vintage very lovely i love it should I put some on? Let me see. Not on my skin. Oh, I didn't want to ruin it. Well, I guess, I, I wonder if you guys could see it. It's so nice. It goes in so light. I thought it was going to be very strong and it was going to be very hard for me to blend in. But no, it seems like it's going to be really easy to blend in as a blush. Oh, I see. Interesting. I've never tried this type of blush before. This is going to be fun nice okay. the next thing i want to talk about is a setting powder i went into sephora and i was like i need a new setting powder i have oily skin what do you recommend they recommended the air airbrush flawless finish this is the complexion perfect perfecting micro powder by charlotte tilbury charlotte tilbury i've heard so many good things about this brand that I don't know what's taken me so long. Oh, this packaging is gorgeous. Powder. I bought the color medium. I was between the fair and the medium. I went ahead and went with the medium. And let's go ahead and see. So it goes like this. And I'm so excited to try this out. Let me see. Oh, it's so smooth. It's so smooth. Like my finger just like rubs on. Okay, you're not gonna really tell. If you guys want me to give you guys a review on this, let me know. The next one I'm so excited to try out because I needed a new cleanser and I actually went in thinking that I was gonna buy the new Rihanna, uh, Rihanna Fenty by Rihanna um, face cleanser. And I was talking to the lady there in Sephora and I was like, do you recommend the Fenty um, cleanser? She's like, yes, it's really good. It's very good on your skin. It does well. She's like, but what type of skin do you have? And I was like, oh, I have oily skin. She's like, no, you need to try the Tatcha. So, I'm going to try the Tatcha. <laughs> so, I bought the Tatcha, the deep cleanse, um, cleanser. And I'm so excited to try this out because, like, just I said the other brand, I've heard so many good things about this brand. And I'm so excited to try it out. I've always, this, the packaging of Tatcha has always caught, caught my attention. I think their packaging is just gorgeous. So let me read to you guys what it says here. So it says, it says a deep cleanse clarifying Japanese loofah fruit extract for normal to oily skin. So there you go. This daily deeply purifying cleanser is infused with natural exfoliant to gently lift impurities, unclog pores, and balance skin moisture for a healthy looking skin. So aside from it being a cleanser, she told me it also, it's also a good exfoliator because it has very small beads that are perfect for a daily exfoliation. So I'm so excited to try this out. If you guys need, if you guys want me to give you guys a review on this product, let me know. I would love to share my experience with it. I'm gonna start using it tonight. So excited! So excited to do my makeup tomorrow. So I'm gonna be trying all of these products. And the last product that I bought, you guys know I've always shared with you guys that I always try to find something that I could exfoliate the razor bumps that I get on the back of my leg or um, just any bumps that are on my skin. I really, they really bother me. So I'm always looking for products to try. And I mentioned some that I'm here with you and I love them, but I wanted to try something new. So I found this by First Aid Beauty and it is a bump eraser body 
scrub. So it says with 10% AHA, for safe for sensitive skin. And it's exfoliant corporal. So it's an exfoliant for the skin. And it says apply onto wet skin and gently massage over problem areas. Rinse and apply moisturizer. Use once or twice a week as tolerant. Oh, wow. Once or twice a week. I thought it was going to be like an everyday use type of thing so this is specifically for the body it says do not use on face so i'm pretty sure it's pretty strong because it says um that to only use once or twice a week that's interesting so i'll go ahead and start using it and let's see how this works my sephora haul i really hope you guys enjoy it if you guys want me to review any of these products leave me a comment down below i will gladly tell you my experience with them and if I enjoy these products they will be in my March favorite video if you enjoyed this video don't forget to like and subscribe share my channel with your friends and I will see you here next time with a brand new video bye